He said, I, I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it. So now if we go to 22, 14, Ezekiel 22, verse 14. Hallelujah. Blessed be God forevermore. Can thy heart endure or can thy hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? So God is telling everyone, be you a political leader, you're a king, you're a billionaire, you're a pastor, you have all your high, sitting on all your high throne, you are full of yourself, arrogant, prideful, high lifted heart. God is saying to you, can thy heart endure or can thy hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? God is saying the day we deal with them. He said, can, can, can their hand be strong in the days that you will deal with them? I, the Lord, have spoken and we do it. So we ask that everyone that thinks they, they seated on high throne as a pastor to come down, come down that throne and humble yourself before God. And all the leaders who think they can destroy this nation, destroy that nation, destroy it, come down, come down. And all the rich people think you have the money to do evil, to do this, and you can get away, you can buy your way through the court system, you can kill, and nothing will happen to you. I say to you, come down. Okay? Ezekiel 26, 17 to 21. The Lord is saying to you to come down, come down. Because on that day, you will not be strong enough to withstand God. So he's advising you to come down. So from 17, Ezekiel 26 from verse 17. And they shall take up a lamentation for thee. People shall weep for thee. And say to thee, how art thou destroyed that was inhabited of seafaring men? The renowned city, which was strong in the sea, even nations too, who are high-minded, come down. History have shown. You saw history, both in the Bible, both the history book, how empire, how kingdom fall. Calm down, you know. Renowned city which was strong in the sea, she and her inhabitants, which caused their terror to be on all that, that haunted. Now shall the Isus tremble in the day of thy fall. Yea, the Isus that are in the sea shall be troubled at thy departure. For thus said the Lord God, when I shall make thee a desolate city, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I shall bring up the deep upon thee, and gear waters shall cover thee, when I shall bring thee down, with them that descend into the pit with the people of old time and shall set thee in the low parts of the earth in places desolate of old when them when them that go down to the pit that thou shalt not inhabit it and I shall set glory in the land of the living. You see? I will make thee a terror and thou shalt be no more though thou shalt be sought for yet thou shalt never be found again said the Lord God. And this appears to Satan too. The time when the white throne judgment, they will never find him again. The same thing, the, all the wicked leaders, all the wicked nations, you know, you will not find them again. And that's why God is saying to us to come down and know God is God. He is the, he is the creator of the universe. And all men, all creatures belong God to God. And only God can be God for, pe for people. No man can be God for people. Neither whether you're a pastor, you are not a pastor, you can never be God to anybody. They already have God. Okay? You can preach the word of God to people. You can teach them the ways of righteousness and holiness. But God is all, will always be their God. Hallelujah. So now if we go to, finally, Psalm 48, then we almost will come to close. Psalm 48. Hallelujah. Psalm 48 from verse 1 to 3. I read quickly. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation. The joy of the whole heart is, is Mount Zion, on the Isus of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. So if we go to the lastly, verse 46, Psalm, 40, uh, Psalm 46, from verse um, 10 to 11, and we come to a close. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heaven. I will be exalted in the earth. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. We have no any other, no any other God than this, the only living God, the only saving God, and he shall be the God of people. So be careful. Let not your gifts, let not your beauty, let not your finances, let not your richness, let, let not your talents, let not your education make your heart be lifted up. Be arrogant, be prideful. Give God glory for everything that you have. Give God glory for everything that you have. Give God glory. And don't try in your heart to be gods over people. Because the people are created. You see what happened to Satan, Lucifer. You see what happened to Lucifer when he tried to do that. He wants to be God. He wants to reign over the universe. He wants the people to worship him. But you see what happened to him. Learn from him. Learn from all the examples that I've given you. Learn from the nations. You learn from the former Egyptian empire, the Persian empire, and the great Babylon. They have all fallen. And so are so many leaders fallen. Learn from history. Fear God. Fear God. And fear God and give God glory. Hallelujah. Never lift that up your heart against God. Never try to say you want to be gods over people. Or you want people to worship you. Don't touch the glory of God. Because what Satan was trying to do was trying to shunt the glory of God onto himself. But it never worked for him. And it will never work for you. Give God glory. Hallelujah. And I will just thank you for your word tonight, O oh God. We give you all the praises and the glory and honor. For there is no any other God beside you. You are our creator, O oh God. You are the creator of all creatures. And only you can be God over all your creatures. None ever. No man, no angels can be God over your creatures. You alone are God, O oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord. For who you are, we give you all the praises and the glory. We thank you for every gifts that you have given us. We thank you for every blessings that you have blessed us, oh God. We love you, God. We thank you. We bless you. We cover every prayer, every worship with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let this word open our eyes, oh God. Help us to fear you. For the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, oh God. Help us to walk in your ways. Bless everyone, oh God. We thank you for tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.